what's up you guys Marty Schwartz here and I'm gonna teach you a tune right now by uh, one of my earliest inspirations growing up I listened to a lot of this music so it's always fun to kind of break into something that has like a personal connection for me uh, so we'll zoom in I'll show you the chords there's a couple little scale lick things uh, I'll show you ways to do it without that but I'll also show you that stuff so we'll get it all there um, also, real quick, uh, thank you so much for subscribing to this uh, YouTube channel of mine. Got a lot of cool stuff planned. I can't wait to show it to you. Um, and also, liking the video, leaving comments below, whether it's requests or anything else. I check it out, and I appreciate it. Anyway, let's zoom in and learn this song right now. Here we go. All right, so this is one of my favorite singer-songwriters. Uh, you know, my dad played a lot of this music growing up. And I just recently, about three years ago from making this right now, I got to see him in concert, which was just like a lifelong dream. Never thought would happen, and then all of a sudden he played again. It was amazing. It was very, very amazing. So anyway, let's get to one of his biggest songs right now. Uh, it starts with A minor, and then D minor. So index on the first, ring, or I use my pinky usually, but you can use your ring finger there, so it's a D minor. So it's first fret here, third fret B, and then middle finger on the second of the G. So. Then G. Third, second, third. Then C. To F. And the way I like to play F on the acoustic is ring finger on the third of the A, pinky on the third of the D, Middle on the second of the G, index on the first of the B. So check it out. A minor, D minor, G, C, F. So check it out. Here's what we got. And then we're going to, so don't worry, I'm going to show you all that and rhythm, the whole thing. But it does D minor again, then E major, which has that first fret on the G. And then we add our pinky to the second fret of the G. And that would be called E suspended fourth or E sus four. So check it out. A minor, D minor. G, C, F, D minor, E, E, S, A minor, D minor, G, C, F, D minor, E, E, G, G7, chorus, so... So a nice little rhythm is down, up, 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 down. Second time, D minor, E to G, G7 to the chorus. So that G7 is like a G chord, but you have to have ring finger, middle finger, and then index on the first of the high E. So if you can play G major like this, then you got the chorus. So... So then the chorus is C, G, F, 
And then, so yeah, so, sorry, let me go back to the beginning of the chorus. C, G, then hold on F. There's going to be a little scale line that I'm going to show you. G, F, C. And then another lick there, too. But if you're a beginner and you don't want to do the lick, you can go C, G, F. Um, and then a little turnaround on the G, but I'm going to show you the lick there. So we got the verse, and now in the chorus, what's uh, going on is uh, a little, some scale stuff. So here we go. C, G, F. So it does a little lick right into a, the G chord, and you have to go like this. First fret of the B, open B. Second fret of the G. Then open G. Ring finger on the third of the D. Middle on the second of the D. Open D. Ring on the third of the A. And then I'm playing a G chord. So check it out. G, F, to the C. And so there's a little lick there that's kind of outlining a G a little bit. So it starts with two times on the third of the E. Then open A, and then back to the third fret of the low E. Then third on the A, then open A, and then back to third on the E. So. So let's do it again. So we got C, G, and then the F with the scale. G, F, C, then this new lick. And the C, G, F. G, F. D minor, E major to get back into the verse. there was the lesson. Uh, appreciate you hanging out for a little bit. Uh, also, thank you so much for subscribing to this YouTube channel of mine. And if there's a song you'd like to learn or a lesson you'd like to see me do, uh, like this video and leave a comment below about it and I'll check it out. Uh, also, hope to see you again real soon. Until then, later!